My name is Angela Schaefer, and I am here with the Commissioner of Education, Miss Betty Castor. Thank you for coming and visiting our school and taking time for this um, interview. I do have a couple of questions for you, if you don't mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Miss Castor, um, what are your duties for the Commissioner of Education? Well, I have uh, an opportunity to, number one, visit schools. I work with the legislature for the state of Florida. They're the lawmakers uh, in Tallahassee, and I try to talk to them about the needs that we have uh, in education. And one of the things I'm going to do this year is talk to them about what we can do to try to...
morning, students. Our top cat winner for this week is Rachel Paul. Rachel is 17, a junior, a former FFA secretary, and former top cat winner. Although still a junior, Rachel is thinking and planning for the future. After graduation, she wants to attend Travis Tech and specialize in the child daycare program or cosmetology. Captain's Law, starting 12894. After our last mission, we decided to go on some R&R &R on a planet known as LWHS. And then we got a message from Starfleet Command. Captain, there's a message from Starfleet Command on subspace. They want us to give LWHS some messages. On Sunday, February 6th at 3 p.m., the Lake Wells High School Concert and Symphonic Bands will present their annual concert. For your after-concert enjoyment, there will be an Olive Garden catered spaghetti dinner. Yo, Rick, I was about to run and need to shoot home. Why? Hi, welcome to the morning announcements. Today is Friday, March 18th. I'm Tammy Patterson. And I'm Chad J. Barker. If you are interested in taking an SAT preparation class on the 22nd, 23rd, or the 24th, the cost is $15. You'll be prepared with the SAT book, and you need to see Ms. Donahue or Ms. French. The Lake Gibson Theater Department will be producing The Odd Couple on April 28th and 29th at the Lake Mirror Civic Center. We're asking students who are interested in having their name listed in the program to donate a dollar and become a brave patron. You can do this at lunch. The cost, as I say, is one dollar, and we'll be collecting the money through next Friday. Attention all drama club members, there's a set building day tomorrow at 8 o'clock till 12 o'clock. Bring a paintbrush and a hammer if you have one. We'd like to thank everyone who participated in our recent survey for TV production. We'd like to know how we can make the show a little better for you. Your responses were helpful and very truthful, and we appreciate that. And now Sports Corner. we have been showing almost every day, our viewers are asking for some kind of update on the progress fourth grade is making with their projects to earn money for their trip to St. Augustine. One of the most popular ads at the last month's talent show is here this morning to give us an update. Here are Matthew, Chase, and John. This is John Smith with CBS, CBS News. We're back in the United States, and I'm glad to see you again. I'm here in Lakeland, Florida at Cleveland Court Elementary School with Tiny Tommy Mo. Hello, Tommy. Hi. It's great to be in sunny Florida after cold, snowy Norway. What are you doing here? I'm getting ready for field day. Watch me do my exercises. I do my jumping jacks, my toe touches, And I do my splits. Well, that's great, but I thought you were here for something else, to raise money for the fourth grade field trip to St. Augustine. Oh, yeah, that's right. I hear that you've raised lots of money already. How have you done that? Well, we've sold lots of popcorn. And we've sold orange drink too. Here's my glass. Let me pour some in it. And we've had bake sales. <laughs> and 
And we've even had a talent show where there was lots of dancing and singing. Figaro, Figaro, Tommy. Fig we're about out of time. Is there one more thing you would like to say? Yeah, give us a hand or a foot and help us on our way to St. Augustine. Bye, everyone. Now it's time for Padgett Today's Question. What famous scientist was born March 14, 1879? If you know, let us know. By 2 o'clock today. If you have a birthday today, head on down to the office. They have a special prize. And by the way, happy birthday. Are you selling those magnets? Let's go see how someone else is doing. Hello boys and girls, it's good to see you again. This is Fuzzy Buzz. How are you doing taking your orders for your fundraiser? Miss Nancy, I got 25 orders. 25 orders, Billy, that's great. How did you manage that? My mom took them to work and she got 25 sales for me. Wow, took it to work, excellent. Billy, you're doing great. Keep up the good work and you too, boys and girls. One last announcement, Dr. Williams is still looking for his Afro-American folders. If you've seen them, please turn them in. And remember, stop and think. I'm Nathan, see you next time. And I'm Brandy, have a wonderful day. Bye. See ya. Thank you, Cindy. Today's Did You Know report is the oldest author was Alice Pollock of Surrey, England. She was 102 years old and eight months when her book Portrait of My Victorian Youth was published in 1971. And that's the news for today. Thank you for joining us and have a great day. Bye. Good morning, Southwest. I'm Chip Palmer. And I'm Johnny Doran. That was Bruce Willis's rendition of Under the Boardwalk. I liked him better than Die Hard, personally. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the local sports, the Orlando Magic is in second place in the Atlantic Division for the NBA. The Tampa Bay Bucks are actually having a winning streak. They haven't lost a game in three months. Whoa. Uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning is in last place in the Atlantic Division. And Tampa wants a baseball team? No. All right, the NBA scores. The Nuggets beat the Wolves 117 to 97. We're here with, with Lucy Ricardo and her husband. Ricky. The Cuban honey. Ricky. Yeah, crazy the crazy Cuban. Ricky Ricardo. And here's Lucy. Hi. Hello there. Oh, I'm finally in the show. You know, if Ricky didn't know any better, he wouldn't let me in it because he usually doesn't. Why did you? Oh, really? <laughs> well, honey, because I don't think he had a choice. They have That's to the learn. Problem. This is this for the school of the art. Uh huh. So they have to learn what you cannot do when you want a good show, and that is having you in the show. So you're going to use me as the example of what not to do? Well, honey, I think that, that is a good reason for you to be in the show. <laughs> <laughs> We're standing here at the Jurassic Park exhibit at the Universal Studios, and here's David White with our lunch menu and announcements. Hi, David. Hi, Tricia. So what are we having for lunch today? Well, for lunch today, we're having pizza, corn, tossed salad, cake, and milk. Do you have any announcements? Yes. Today we're having the walkathon. Kids, do your best on it. And that's all the announcements for today. Thank you, David. We're standing here at Amityville Harbor, where the Jaws attraction is. And here's Kristen with our weather. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Angie. So what is our weather going to be like today? Well, currently at Universal Studios, it's partly cloudy, and our high is expected to be in the low 90s, and our low is expected to be in the high 70s. But let's go to the compu computer just to make sure. Any more excuses? Now sit up, young lady. Sit up. No, I've given you enough chances. That's it. Now I want you to take your punishment like a man. I mean, like a student. Okay. 
Now, do you have anything to say for yourselves before I pass sentence? I mean, before I give you your punishment. What do you mean? Those, those are aren't you talking about, us. Ms. We're here for the oh. broadcast of WFHS. Oh, I'm Tony. I'm BJ. And I'm Jennifer. Are these aren't your referrals? No. no. Oh, well, go. Well, that's, I know that. Go ahead and do it. Okay, all high school students interested in the Polk com and Community Service Program should meet in the Guidance Conference Room today after the announcements are read. $20 fee must be turned in by March 1st. Polk County Public and Private Schools are sponsoring the 20th College and Career Expo to be held at the Lakeland Civic Center March 7, 1994, from 5 p.m. until 8 p.m. Representatives from over 150 colleges, universities, vocational schools, and more than 50 representatives from career fields will be present. Each year, students and their parents from both public and private junior and senior high schools are invited to attend. And now to sports with Cohen Jim. for January the 21st. This Saturday at 7 o'clock, there will be a free play at the Northeast Complex. This play is called X Firebrand of Freedom. For further information, call Ann Derby at 291-5675.